Hi there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create data extension folders. Um, so first off, what are folders? Well, basically a way to group our data extensions because trust me, you're going to be creating a lot of data extensions if you're um, going to be using Salesforce Marketing Cloud and you want to keep things nice and tidy. Um, so to do this, I'm going to be navigating to the email studio And there, just like before, I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to subscribers, data extensions. And we get back to our overview of data extensions that we saw in earlier videos. So check those out if you've missed them. Um, now, in this case, I like to create a new folder here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, point my mouse button here, right click and um, now I get this uh, little pop-up, so I'm going to simply click New Folder and I'm going to call this Folder Subscribers. Um, now I've created this folder and I actually did create some data extensions earlier that I want to move into this folder. Uh, so let's go and do that. Uh, so basically I went back to the, the overall data extensions overview um, and I'm going to select these two that I created in previous videos and click move. Now within this pop-up, I'm gonna look for the subscribers folder that I just created. Click OK and ta-da, there they are. Now, um, pro tip, when you uh, are gonna start creating data extensions, this, this seems like almost irrelevant when you start out, but come up with a proper naming convention. And the naming convention can be um, uh, yeah, it can take several shapes and uh, several formats. So basically, let me just quickly show you some formats that I think are useful. Uh, so what many customers will do is if they have some kind of country codes uh, or a regional code, um, they may uh, first come up with a list of uh, region codes and they may do something like US West, US East, um, and then for other Europeans watching, it will probably just be a uh, country code like BENL, UK, Spain, uh, or maybe España, uh, like this, and so on and so on and so on. Secondly, if you're having different businesses, um, sorry, uh, different businesses, you may want to define it uh, as well. Uh, so the simplest example would be B2B or B2C. Uh, Obviously, you may also have different business units for that in Marketing Cloud, but it's a different topic. Um, and you may have other kinds of variations, um, but let's keep it simple. Now, when you're going to do, um, uh, let's say you're making a new campaign folder, what you want to do is uh, you want to have a format that looks something like date, sorry, and then maybe, uh, let's say, business, and then region. And... Um, a concrete example that would mean if we were we were to do a campaign today, we were 2019, the 10th month, it's October the 20th, and uh, we're doing B2C in West Coast. And that would be the start of the folder. And after that, we could say um, loyalty program something like that, or whatever whatever the name would be of our campaign, right? Um, so um, that would be uh, one naming convention uh, that I recommend or that I've seen used very, very often. Uh, of course, you're up to device your own, um, but really consider doing that for campaigns and using that for folders. Now here, uh, going back to uh, my data extensions, uh, you may also add an additional layer like I did now, which is a, a level of um, where you're going to keep certain master data, such as uh, subscribers in general. And then I may want to add a new folder that's called campaigns. And that's where I'm going to be using these uh, naming conventions later on. And there may be additional ones, or you may even say, I'm going to take two, I'm going to make two uh, main folders, one for B2B, one for B2C. And I'm going to put these two folders as subfolders in it. Um, just some general tips and tricks. Now, um, again, I like to point out some little differences in the interface in Marketing Cloud occasionally uh, for those who get lost, because if you were not able to create folders, most likely you were not in email studio, you were probably in the contact builder. 
And I pointed out some differences between Email Studio and Contact Builder in the previous videos. So definitely check those out if you've missed it. Uh, but for instance, here in Contact Builder, when I'm navigating to data extensions um, and I'm trying to create a new folder here, you know, see, I'm right clicking. It's, it's just not doing the thing that I wanted. Uh, it will show the folder that you created, but you simply cannot remove uh, or add new folders that way. Um, so if you're experiencing this issue, um, consider that you may be looking at the wrong module and you may have to go back to Email Studio. That's it. Thanks. Hey there, it's Anthony again. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to our channel. That way, whenever we put new videos online, you'll be notified automatically. Thank you and have a great day.